everybody. This is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to Eight Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. I pray you're having a blessed day and I just speak the anointing of God on you and just thank God that he is with you in everything. Uh, and you know what? <laughs> Say something good's going to happen to me today. I wanted to share with you real quick. If you enjoy our program, subscribe to it. Please send it to some others. Just some people you know, man, they need to hear this. And I just so much appreciate that. And then also my wife and I are moving into a new season. We are out uh, ministering more on the armor bear and other things. And we need to build a partnership base to help us do that. And so if you, have you been watching the armor bear for these years and you haven't supported our ministry at all? I mean, anything that you can do anywhere from 20 bucks, $20 to whatever. And even if it's $10, anything will help. And so if, if enough give like that, then it's going to enable me, uh, to do things that I need to do. And I'm feeling to really get this message out. And then if you, if you as pastors and leaders, you're looking to have an armor bear conference in your area, please contact me. Uh, you can go to godsarmorbear.com and you can, you can send me an email and I'll be glad to talk to you and would love to come into your area. All right. We're talking this week about the four faces of Jesus Christ. And I've really been dealing with, uh, the face of the lion. You've got the four faces in Revelation seven. There was the lion. There was the calf, the man and the eagle. And so we talked about the lion. Now I really want to move into the calf, the servant heart. You know, everything we do flows through servanthood. When, when Elijah, the anointing that came on Elijah, the Bible is very clear that when he threw his mantle on him, the Bible says that Elisha rose up and became his servant, even though God told him, you go and anoint him as prophet. Yet he rose up as servant. And there's where this generation and many charismatic churches and others are missing it is because the minute someone prophesies or I, I watched a person take a coat and lay it on somebody thus saith the Lord the mantle's coming and honestly it was it was wrong and that guy was that individual was trying to do something he wasn't anointed to do and I want to say this I want everybody listen listen to me when it comes to the anointing of God only God gives authority only God gives anointing Revelation in our life creates spiritual authority. When God gave me the revelation of the armor bear over, over walking that out and living that, it became a, uh, it became a place of spiritual authority. God's put that mantle on me. And so when I am speaking these truths out, what it does is because I have spiritual authority. They're, they're really, I can help anybody. Uh, I know I can. I know the anointing on my life and I know what I've dealt with. I've been in ministry since I was 18 years old. So that's 50 years. I started as a youth pastor. It was part time, but then I went full time in uh, 1979 and I've been full time ministry since 1979. So, and we're moving into 2025 here. So in another four years in full time, it's going to be 50 years. But uh if you go back to where I was, again, I was a part-time associate for those first four or five years. And so you, you see, I've been around it long enough and I know the revelation in me and I know what God put in my heart. That is revelation. Now that becomes a place of spiritual authority because God gave me the revelation, gave me authority to go with it so that I can speak by the spirit of God uh, into the lives of people and to see change and help them be the connection and the support that the pastor needs. Right now, I'm telling you, the devil's just beating the brains out of pastors and leaders. And we are to be there as armor bearers, as an Aaron and her and support them. And when you look at uh, Elisha, again, Elisha, uh, became his servant. And we don't know how long that he served. I've heard, uh, some people say anywhere from 10, 15 years, but I'm going to tell you 
what Elisha did out of second Kings, he poured water over the hands of Elijah. And that right there was a cultural issue. And that's what they do. They don't eat in, in the Middle East, Africa. They don't eat with a fork, knife and spoon. They eat with their hands. And the, the servants come in and pour water over the hands of the leaders, uh, or these, the fathers and, and that's what they do. And that's exactly what Elisha was. And we don't see that so many times. Man, Elisha, he told Naaman to go dip in the river Jordan. Man, Elisha, he blinded the whole Syrian army. Woo, and Elisha, man, uh, he, he told the king that, I mean, when they were all starving, that the next day there's going to be an abundance beyond all they could think. And everybody looks at the anointing. Oh my gosh, Elisha, he went into the tomb and the soldier fell on was dead and hit the bones of Elijah. Elisha and came back to life. And see, that's what we, we all talk about, but we miss how he got that anointing. How he got it was through serving and he stayed faithful to Elijah. So there, there's someone as, as I'm teaching here, I really feel in my spirit, you're struggling in that place of being faithful. Stay faithful. God promotes in seasons. And you will know when that season is coming. And when the time comes and you step out in faith, you will see the response of God. So you be, be confident in this and just by the, by the spirit of the Lord, be encouraged. The spirit of Elisha is on you. God is the one who promotes only God gives spiritual authority. And so, and that comes from the heart of a servant. Let me pray for you today. Father, I bless everyone watching. I just speak the life of God into them. And I pray today, Father, as they go, that you just manifest your glory in their lives. Something good 